Lev Kuleshov is something of a hero of mine. He was an under-resourced film studies teacher, which is something I can certainly empathise with. And he came up with the idea in the early days of the Soviet Union as a film teacher that editing was absolutely key to creating meaning. He didn't have enough film stock to uh, make his films on. So what he would do instead would use very small bits of films and edit them together and experiment with the effects of editing. He would also get students to work out very, very detailed plans for the sort of films they would make and arrange them shot by shot. And in the film By the Law, we see something of a, a dark cinematic companion to Charlie Chaplin's The Gold Rush. Essentially, it's a story of cabin fever. In this sequence here, one of the residents of the cabin has finally lost his marbles and goes on a massacre. And you can see from the way that this is structured, it, it's highly dependent on editing. Each component part is broken down into real minutiae. Even the point where he flips the woman round is broken up into three separate shots. We also cut away to several independent moments within the scene itself. The guy with his face in the plate of food, the kettle boiling, the spilling drink onto the floor. And it's very characteristic of the Soviets to disregard elements of continuity in favour of action. So we see the bit there's the woman, she's shouting, we cut to a shot of the kettle and then we cut back to her. It's a completely odd angle to cut to, it doesn't maintain the 180 degree rule at all. But all of this, the way that the scene is carefully structured in advance and then controlled in the editing, which is all organised, is a big influence on Hitchcock and we can see in this sequence from Torn Curtain, the same principles at work. It's Hitchcock, so it's typically uh, based on shot reverse shot, more so than Kuleshov does. But we also have these very Hitchcockian extreme angles. The rhythm of the scene and the idea of the chaos of the fight is entirely reflected through the editing, making it much more dramatic and visceral. And there we are in the centre of the action and the shot where uh, the character Gromick is stabbed, that simple action is broke up into tiny pieces. And this moment here with the spade against the kneecap, ouch, the viciousness comes from the shot to shot relation and the editing. And that shot of the strangulation is divided into three very different close ups. Hitchcock doesn't follow the typical Hollywood pattern of a master shot and then cutaways to two or three other shots, usually medium close-ups. No, he is entirely worked out. The shot order in advance, he doesn't need a master shot. It's all a series of close-ups. Here we are, right in the thick of the action, right in the middle of the struggle.